Tickets are available if you're. Thank you. Welcome. Sony. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge right. T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical there exists Nothing like it. Anywhere. In an effort to bring Bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. <laughs> Truly, the... Yeah, do something I better. shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus. We want more. and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught bedding my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker, and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. Oh, I have traveled all around the world, delighting ah, young stop. and old with all manner of feats of amazement. But none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. Oh, I, I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my This is a hell of a show! Yes, my dick. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my How head. About this? Yeah. Off my head. Here we go. Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, all right. Yeah. That bit always scares me. <laughs> now, observe as I. Bring the great some more Benjamin else. Lazarus will do what no man has ever done and cheat death as if it were nothing. What is he doing? Go home! 
Let's do that again. Hmm? Right. Hmm. Take it. This is the best. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. Oh, <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? And Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not a member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm. This would be called in this my town. My uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my teeth. All right, let's go. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you I am the greatest entertainer to ever live and the only man who laughs at death. Now, ready? AK. Oh, gotta fight is too much. It's incredible. And fire. Just an illusion, after all. <laughs> yes! Yes! God. Truly! A feat of incredibility. I told you that boy would bring you all manner of personal satisfaction. He certainly does. You'll me. see this? <laughs> now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. She breathes fire. Sorry, I had my mic unplugged, but yeah, this is the second part theater in St. Dennis. Yeah, these is awesome, these shows. That was pretty awesome. Watch my other St. Dennis Theater 1, too, because there's some hints in there and some... I don't know what would happen if you boo her, but I'm going to just sit back and just let you watch. I'm going to unplug it and let you watch. Fire. All right, 
really cool. Yeah, that's true. All right, I'll let you hear this. I'm going to unplug it again. This is kind of boring, but it's not bad. song about a so-called modern improvement you may have become aware of called the telephone yeah. this new machine will carry a facsimile of your voice from blackwater to valentine to san denis and they propose to distribute them to all manner of places so that no matter where you are somebody is looking for you a wise man prayed that one day we may all eventually be gathered together in a heaven of everlasting rest and peace and bliss, except for the inventor of the telephone, because someone is always calling, saying, Hello! Hello! I've got a little baby, but he's out of sight. I talk to him across the telephone. I can't see my honey, but He's mine, all right. This gal just can't leave a man alone. Every single morning you will hear me yell. He sent you fix me up along the line. They connect me with my honey and I ring my bell. And this is what I say to baby mine. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Blackwater calling. Hello. This morning through the phone they said he'd been with Bess and told me exactly where he's at. Now I'm headed out of town to his address. That man better hold on to his hat. I sure do worry that some wires might get crossed and it will separate me from my baby. So there it is, man. 
a show from St. Dennis Theater. Now, <clears throat> what's interesting, you can hear a lot of tidbits about certain things. If you stand out in a theater and just listen to people talk. I'm guessing you could... I guess you could rob the theater somehow. But most times you'll hear people talking. What not. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the, the theaters in St. Dennis. Please leave a like and subscribe. More on the way. Thank you.